Hello everybody, my name is Sergey. Welcome back to another episode of the best PowerPoint games. Best PowerPoint games. And today we're diving into a world of PowerPoint games with my 4-in-1 Compa Pack Volume 2. And the games are Volcanic Rush, Cannonball, DoorDash, and Hoop Hero. Let's get started. First up, we have Volcanic Rush. This exciting board game takes players on a thrilling journey across a fiery volcano. Spin the spinner, avoid the lava spaces, and be the first to reach the finish line. The first way to play this game is just to use the spinner and next to the spinner we've got four characters, four players and these images, characters have the same exact pictures as tokens right here. So by pressing on this image you will move your token through the board. If you're going to land on a red space like this and if you're gonna get a volcano on a spinner then you need to press on a talking and the talking will go back well in this case back to the ship but if the talking will be on the space 7 then this talking will go back to number 3 not back to the ship but I also created the super volcano space that's when the player lands on this space this for sure will take him back to the ship so if you land here you automatically go back to the beginning of the game So the second way to play this game is to use questions. As you can see on the green spaces we've got question marks. And when a player lands on green space you can press on this firefly right here with a question mark. And now a player can choose a firefly or I'll choose a letter and pressing on this letter will give you a reward or penalty and also a player would need to answer a question and you press on this box to hide the question and so on and go back for example here the reward is move two steps but no questions what does this mean that means you just move your character forward two steps but if you land on a space with a question then you don't need to answer any more questions you just need to move the character but no answering questions and now next player will take their turns through the board and so on and until somebody reaches the finish line and wins this game Next, let's dive into Cannonball. Players take turns shooting cannonballs at pirate ships. So here is the scoreboard. You press on this button with a ship in the middle to continue. And the players need to get 13 points to win this game. So let's press on this button. Now you have a lot of letters as in previous game and players should choose a letter uh -huh. for example this letter will give you a mermaid with two points and you answer a question and so on you can press back and give a player two points then let's go back press on the box question box to hide the question 
and choose another one. So a player needs to answer a question and also let's uh, press on this button. Here you need to keep in mind for example this is a yellow color so choose two cannons you cannot shoot with all the cannons so you only can choose two cannons to shoot at the ship and some of the ships will have different points as a reward so we got three points and we've got two points so altogether five points so five points Two points. Let's see what will happen when a player wins this game. DoorDash is the game of your luck and a chance. Players take turns opening doors to reveal rewards or penalties, and also they can answer questions. Here we've got four players, purple, red, blue and green. Players need to get 13 points to win this game. Also players just need to press on doors. Here we have lots of doors. Let's press on a door. Okay, so we've got a question and also you can choose a chest to get your reward. Four points. As you know, all my games you can play with questions and without questions. You can just start and play the game and ask questions on a way. Well, some doors will have tentacles. And have some green ghosts. <laughs> no points for that. There is a witch with some potions and you need to select a potion got two points all right also you can remove points here by pressing on the x button and in this game if a player wins You can press on a player and you will get to the winner slide. This is the only game that has winner slide. One shot, two shot, we aim. Heartbeats pounding the game. Bouncing high, hear the call. We live love basketball. Teamwork. Get ready for some basketball action with Hoop Hero. Players compete to score the most points by shooting virtual hoops. Here as well there are four players, green, orange, red and blue. Players need to get 10 points to win in this game. You press on this fireball in the middle, you select a letter and we got a wrong letter. The next player takes turn now. 
You don't press on a question box, you answer a question, but you need to press on an arrow. And now you need to select a ball and choose a ball. Let's uh, select this one. Oh, uh, we've got no points. And then you press on the fire ball again. Let's see what will happen when a player wins the game. So how to modify the questions in these games? Let's go to slide 9. And here is the Volcano Rush. We've got the Fireflies. And the question box is all right here. You can find all of them behind each other. Just drag the box down and write your own question. Save the PowerPoint and you will be good to go. If you would like to mix the fireflies, you need to select the firefly together with the letter and put it in different place. But then you need to change the letter to another letter or even better, you can change letters to numbers. Let's go to the cannonball game. And here on this slide, there's the same thing. All the question boxes behind each other. You can modify, add your question, save the PowerPoint, and you will be good to go. Here, you can, it's the same way, select both the letter and the button and move to a different place on the slide and also you can change the letter to a different letter or you can change to a number now let's go to the door dash and find all the questions so here we have the slides so here are the slides and we have a question and the answer. You can write your own question and the answer and save the PowerPoint. All the questions have a different slide. And the last game, Hoop Hero. Here we have this question slide. This is the same as the first and the second game. All the question boxes behind each other. We can move them and save the PowerPoint when you modify all the question how to mix first you need to move the letter to a different space and then change the letter to a different letter or put a number and save the powerpoint and that's it thanks for watching i hope these games will help tremendously in your classroom they are very easy to set up and require minimal preparation give these games a try and let me know how your students enjoy them and don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more free powerpoint games so what are you waiting for get these games and i'll see you in my next video peace